So I just got back from Tesco doing a top up food shop, like not a huge shop, but um, just to get some stuff that was running out. And I thought I'd show you how cheap and easy it is to do supermarket shopping in London that is um, healthy and plant based and yeah, not expensive. And so to start off with, I've got, so this all came to £10.87. Firstly, I've got some kidney beans. I've got a couple of cans of these. These are um, only 35p each, so I'll probably put them with um, some rice. You can put them in a chili sin carne, which is like a chili con carne, but without the meat. So you would have um, kidney beans and tomatoes, onions, um, any greens that you want, um, maybe a bit of garlic and rice. Oh, and I'd probably throw some sweet corn in there as well, actually. Um, this is a... Hmm, it's 260 grams drained um, and that is only 50p they've got one that is cheaper that is like the value one but then it's got sugar and salt added to it so I like to go for the one that is just sweet corn and water and then I got this Oatly this is um, £1.40 which is about the like general price I've seen it in most places for about £1.70ish um, in like health food stores and stuff so Tesco it's quite cheap um, and in this one they add, so this is the non-organic version and they add vitamin B12 which is obviously good for your nervous system um, vitamin D2 and calcium to this um, and they don't add that to the organic one so you have the choice between getting organic or getting fortified version and then I got soy milk and I always get this, this is 59p I think yeah 59p so it's really cheap um, and they add calcium and b12 and vitamin d to this too um, and this in one cup has 8.5 grams of protein which is really good actually like they have it this one has six percent soybeans often you see it with like two or three percent soybeans so it's good to get one if you're looking for um higher in protein to get one that's got a higher percentage of soybeans and less just water um, and I normally add soy milk to smoothies in the morning with like banana and I often put greens in there um, just because the taste isn't too much, it's quite a refreshing taste, it's not like a vegetable-y taste if you put a ripe banana in there. Um, and I'll normally, throw in, I'll normally throw in some like legumes or something as well, um, which sounds really strange but I like it, I think it's tasty. I'll normally add in like some kidney beans or something to it, it sounds so weird when it comes out of my mouth but honestly it tastes good. Um, and like some cinnamon and ginger and things. Um, and then I've got my bananas, um, these bananas in Tesco are always cheap, um, these were 90p for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bananas, so that keep them going for a few days. I normally have um, probably two ripe bananas a day, I normally have one in a smoothie in the morning and then one around like lunchtime or I have a couple of lunches, like second or third snack time. Um, I'll put it on top of like some bread or something um, and slice it up and maybe have some nut butter with it. I find that really tasty. Um, and then I got a gigantic pack of <laughs> shredded wheat, which I've not had since I was probably like 12 years old. But um, my housemate was eating it and it just, I don't know, I really fancied it. And um, it's cheap and it's 100% wheat. This cost £2.18 and it's 30 biscuits in there. So that's a tiny amount of money and lots of carbs, and I like carbs. And then finally, I got um, loads of, well it's all melted now, but loads of um, frozen vegetables. And these are real staples for me. I love getting loads of frozen veg because it is so cheap. Um, and apparently, so I've read, um, it doesn't make it worse if you flash freeze the vegetables. I don't actually no but that's what i've read online is that it doesn't matter whether it's fresh or frozen it's still good for you so um yeah i normally put spinach in a smoothie um i might like boil or steam some vegetables um and have them with some legumes um or with some starches with pasta for example um or oh i've got this really nice um fusilli pasta that's made from lentils that i got recently from the pro fusion brand um and yeah i'll have that with um, nutritional yeast to make it kind of a cheesy pasta um, and put some some vegetables in there as well and mushrooms um, and these are again nice and cheap um, frozen spinach is £1.40 for 900 grams I was growing spinach in my garden but it's all it's all gone now so at the moment I've got 
kale and lettuce and basically on the days when there's too much sorry on the days when there's not enough lettuce or kale then I'll add in the spinach otherwise I'll just take what I've got from the garden um and the mushrooms were one pound for 500 grams and these mixed vegetables are £1.40 for a whole kilo of them. So yeah, um, I just shopped and I thought, oh, that was really cheap. Maybe I'll show people how cheap it is to, to buy some like staple vegan food because people tend to think that it's super expensive, especially things like um, alternatives. So like things like, um, like frozen vegetables, like everybody buys them, whether you're vegan or not, you probably have some kind of frozen vegetables, whether it's peas and carrots or whatever in your freezer. Um, but it's normally the substitutes like plant milks, like when we talk about soy milk, people think that it's way more expensive to get soy milk than it is to get dairy milk. But when this is 59p for a whole litre, it actually works out really cheap. So that's it. Um, if you are on a budget or you just, yeah, you want food that isn't crazy expensive, dogs next door barking, um, then yeah, go to Tesco or any supermarkets really. It's super cheap, it's not expensive to live a vegan lifestyle in London um, that is not really unhealthy. You can be healthy and not spend much money and just do normal supermarket shopping like normal people and not have to go to some like hippie health stores just to get fed. So thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please um, subscribe for more. It's generally like yoga and like at home fitness stuff um, and vegan food pretty much it.